All right, here in Traction Waveform, I have a project that um, I'm not even really worried about. It's just something that I put together a while back. It's from a video recording MIDI. If you've seen that video, then you'll know what this project is, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, cool. Now, you notice I'm not even wearing headphones today because I don't really need to hear it because this video is very short and it's just going to show you a few different ways to go about doing this. The first way that I want to show you is basically using what's called an archive and you're going to archive the tracks to a folder and that way you can bring it up so someone else so if someone else is using traction waveform then they can just simply bring up waveform open up the project right there in front so let me show you how you're going to do that um, right here you don't have to worry about clicking all the tracks you're just going to go down to the bottom and you're going to go down to where it says file and you're going to go to where it says create an archive of this edit. All right. Click on that. All right. We zoomed in so you can see it a little better. Now it says export type export as a single traction archive file. This is if it was just like one file. Uh, I you can try it both ways, but I'm going to show you the files in a directory. So I'm going to click that. You will notice that everything changed. You want to make sure that you have your destination set. Make sure you set it somewhere where you can find it. I'm going to set mine to music and I have a folder that I created called waveform archive. So, and I'm going to go into archived and I'm going to press select folder. Now you don't have to do it that way. You can leave it wherever it's set at. Just make sure you know where it is. All right. Now the handle size works like this. Whenever you play, a track you always notice that there is a little gap in between when the song begins and when the song ends so this is what the handle is it basically says the amount of extra space to leave at the ends of trimmed audio files so like if I have the file trimmed at a certain spot and I want to leave a little space after that then I can use that or you have the option to explore export complete media files so or you can do the shortest possible media files which means no handles and i'm just going to use the handles of one second all right i'll keep it on that which is what it was set on include files from a library projects so i want to click that and then i'm going to do create archive now you may not see it do anything uh it does it really quick so and it says the target directory uh archive isn't empty do you still want to export files into it i'll say yes export let's go up to music and let's see if i actually did it the right way let's go to music and we're going to go to waveform archive we can go to archived all right and here it's going to say recording midi edit archive 6 50 p.m and then there's one for 6 50 p.m so there's two of them now don't ask me why it does two what i like to do sometimes is i'll do a like right click to check to see which one has enough size. This one has 1.75 megabytes. Let's look at this one. This one only has four kilobytes or six, 618 bytes. So I'm gonna assume that this one is really the one that I really need. So I'm gonna right click on the rename and I'm just gonna say ready, uh, recording MIDI edit, not reading, but recording MIDI edit archive. All right, okay. And then you can see there were some other ones in here because I did it before. Now, after you've done that, this is what you want to do. I'm going to exit out of this project. I'm going to say discard changes. I'm not doing anything else with it. All right, it's going to exit out of it. I'm even going to exit out of Traction Waveform. Okay, press X. And I'm going to go directly to that file. All right, you don't have to do it this way. You can bring up traction waveform but i'm going to go directly to the file archived and remember we renamed it it's called recording midi archive i'm gonna click on it and it should open up traction waveform it's opening up 13 and it should open up my project now once it opens up it's going to go straight to this page and you're going to notice it says one minute and 49 seconds so i can play it and say hey is this the right thing and I can just click right on it. Recording MIDI edit one. 
this is what it's going to show up as, but it should be the exact same project. And then there it is. All right. Now, if you have issues with this part, let me know in the comments because uh, I've been finding that some people are having a lot of issues in traction waveform. Like there's some things that aren't showing up for people that are showing up for me. I know one thing about when you get the pro version, sometimes you get extra features that are embedded now. So it's kind of hard for me to tell what's in the free version and what's in the pro version now. But I know it looks totally different for the pro version. So anyway, so the next way that I would suggest doing is using stems. You know, you heard about stems or maybe you have not, but stems are basically your audio that has been exported. Um, it can be the individual tracks created on an audio track or it can be like a group of tracks put onto one audio track if that makes sense so like if i had all of my background vocals maybe i wanted all of them to be on one stereo audio track and then i can just send that straight over to whoever's mixing and they can deal with it because i already have everything set the way i want it or you can bounce down each track separately um if you feel that i'm talking a little weird i feel like i bit my tongue so that's kind of affecting me right now so i apologize so like say for instance i have track one and let's say i want to track one to be bounced down so i can click on track one and i can go down here where it says render track now i'm gonna show you this close up so you can see a little better so we go down to render track and it's going to say render to a new track render replacing current track render midi to a new track render midi replacing current track so i'm going to say I'm going to try it because I haven't done this enough. So we'll see which one works the best. Good thing about it. Control Z is your best friend. So we're going to render to a new track. All right. It shows me my wave. And then I'm going to say, yep, stereo wave file sample rate. Sample rate is 16 bit because I think that's what I recorded everything at. Pass through plugins. Yeah. And that's cool. Then I'll render that. Okay. And now it automatically created an audio track. Now I'm not listening with the headphones, but let's listen to it. And you tell me in the comments, does it sound like the original track? Good. Okay. It does. Awesome. Looks like it does. So now that it has an audio, that has a, uh, tired now that has an audio track and so i can do this for each of the tracks and then when i get ready then wherever those saved it i can just have them simply import them in you know like okay for instance like i did track three now what i could have did was actually render this to a separate location so let's do this so i would do track one again render track render to a new track but this time we're going to pay attention to where it saves it i want it to save somewhere where i can find it so i'm going to say uh let's say browse and let's set it to music and then i and within my music i can create let's do waveform archive and let's do a new folder so you can't really see what i'm doing new folder and i'm going to call this new folder uh stem uh tracks i guess uh, all right stem tracks and then i can save it here and then i can say render it all right it's gonna render it now i can go here okay i can do that one and i'm just gonna do two tracks for now just so you can get the idea render to new track same thing gonna go here click the, click recent and it should music waveform archive stem tracks yeah so i can put it there now i don't want to i don't want to delete it so let's let's go back browse again all right go back one step stem tracks yeah save it right there and it's probably going to say okay on the time it just did it automatically all right now so now i have two tracks that are done and those tracks, I know exactly where they are. So now when I'm going into my email, chances are you're not going to be able to send this stuff in your email. So the way I would go about doing it is using a little software. You can use Dropbox 
or you can lose you not lose but use i like to call retransfer all right we transfer ooh, if i can spell it works really well for sending large files and even though this isn't really that large but when you get it to send an audio it is very large so you might want to log in but you don't really have to log in you can add folders or you can add a file so let's see if i wanted to add a folder now i do have an account with we transfer but this is trying to promote going ultimate or maybe you have to do ultimate in order to do folders i guess but you can do a file you can add a file all right so i can go here and i can say waveform archive and then i can go to stem tracks and i can put both of those two tracks in there and then i can press open and then i can email send it to whoever you want to email it to and then you can press continue now normally with the free version you can do up to two gigs so um and then with the paid version i think it's like i don't know nine dollars a month or something like that then you can actually do about twenty dollars a month i think it's twenty dollars a month so that's how i would go about sending it or like i said you could do dropbox or you can zip it and send it via email i already told you you can just export the whole thing and render it to a file then you can send that file to whoever and they can actually just mix it like if you want a two track and you send it to them they can mix it or if you're a producer and you made a two track and you send it into an artist to, to rap on sing or whatever then you can send it to them that way i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any comments any questions anything about anything please let me know in the comments below and if you're new to the channel you, you know go ahead and smash the subscribe button okay yeah you yeah i'm talking to you go ahead and subscribe all right don't wait.